I, I want you to forget that this is Lieutenant General Adolfo, okay? He's just JJ, yeah? Okay, so, so forget who, who he is. Now, what I, what I want you to do is, if you can go as though you're shaking hands, okay? Yeah. So shake, shake hands. Uh, actually, uh, maybe, sorry, just, just stand here. Maybe. Okay, now what I want you to do mm -hmm. is, if you can pull his hand until it touches there, you get a point. If you can pull him and touch there, you get a point. Okay? So <laughs> Okay, so 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 go and you have one minute to get as many points as you can. Okay? <laughs> Alright, go. <laughs> okay, keep going, you've got a minute. <laughs> Okay, two, come on! <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, alright! Now, so what? <laughs> so, well, you, you went quite well, but how many did you get? Maybe five, maybe five, six, <laughs> and you? About two? About three, yes. Three? Okay, alright, good. Now, so what you did is, is uh, you played the normal way of what will happen in a, in a normal interaction between people where there's conflict. You automatically went to a win-lose perspective. So it's like, for me to win, he has to lose. That's so right. Then, uh, so then you're... <laughs> like that, yeah? Yeah. And, and it's like this big fight. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what automatically happens in most conflict situations. But then there's another option, and that's win-win. And so, for example, if I take your hand, mm -hmm. well, we could just agree. Okay, you, me, yeah? Mm -hmm. And yes, right. so then, instead of getting six, you'd yeah. be getting 20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can even go better. So this is, I'll trust you a bit, Deadpool. And then, 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 then I need mine, yeah. Well, so yeah. it's still a bit of a lack of trust. It's win-win, but it, it's not necessarily the most efficient. Then if you look and you say, how do we make it even more efficient? If we stand next to each other, and then we go, okay, one. <laughs> yeah. Even more. <laughs> yeah. So then you're getting like a, a hundred points. So this is the difference between win-lose or win-win. Now, most conflicts in the world, people automatically go to win lose. Yeah? It's like, oh, this person's done a bad thing, what can we do against them? Or in whatever field it is, they're thinking, I've got to win. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, say, business, is business about win lose or is it about win win? Win win. If I sell bottled water, the idea is, I sell it to you, you win because you get... I win. Yeah. <laughs> I get something. Exactly. And, and I also win. win. Because you earn. Exactly. That's, That's right. right. So the whole idea of business is win-win. But for some reason, we automatically slip back to win-lose when it comes to a conflict situation, to problems with other people, whether it's on a world scene or with our wife, <laughs> or our children, or, or whatever. Yeah. Now the problem, of course, is it's not always so easy. So now, if, can you hold up your hand? Okay. So, I resist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Automatically you resist, and did you notice that the harder... <laughs> I push the harder I resist. Exactly. And it's kind of exquisite, because I put two kilograms of force, you put two kilograms. I put six, you put six. I put 10.451, you put 10.451, yeah? So it's exactly the same amount of force that comes back. So what happens then when Palestine is fighting against Israel? The harder that Israel responds to Palestine, the harder they try. The Palestine responds, yeah. And so you have this vicious cycle that gets worse and worse because Palestine strikes Israel, Israel strikes Palestine, Palestine strikes again, and so you have this whole situation that's not working. It's actually, there's a, a scientific law that talks about this force. Do you know what that is? Equal opposite force. Yeah, Newton's third law to every force 
there's an equal uh -huh. and an opposite force. So if we think that we can just overpower other people, we're kind of ignoring <laughs> this rule of nature. And there's also a Christian term for it. What, uh, do you know what that is in Christianity? Uh, as you sow, so also will you reap. And That's I, right. Yeah. Uh, you're Muslim? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Muslim. So the there's a similar. similar. Law, yeah. Uh, what, what's it called in Islam? It's the same. So, yeah. Same. Okay. And so then uh, Hindus and Buddhists, they talk about karma, right. which is basically the same thing. What you do, it's what you get back. It's what you get back, yeah. Uh, sometimes they look at that in terms of future lives, but also in this life. You do bad things to people, you get bad things will come back to you, yeah. Uh, I need you to work to this time, I don't care what's happening, uh, you do it. And you will win. You will get him to do that. But what's happening that maybe you don't see? <laughs> and then what, what are you thinking? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's resentment, there's upset, and it'll come out some way. That's right. You might not well, need it. Do what? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. Right. And so, and then the same with your wife, with your children. It, in fact, it's one of the things that makes the president's job very hard, because you do have the power, but there's going to be some reaction that's not necessarily seen. And it's hard for a president because they're a little shielded. They can't just go to the pub and sit around with, you know, whoever and just That's right. say hello to everyone. Won't pick it. So you, you won't necessarily pick it, yeah. And so then the question is, okay, how do you not create that resentment? How do you work in a way where you're not overpowering others, but you still are not taken advantage of? You're not just letting people get away with, with murder or whatever. And so that's the challenge. So I'm going to show you a model that actually shows you how to do that. Now normally I would be teaching this in a room with many people yeah, right. and it's a lot larger than your office. That's so we're going to have to be a little bit uh, imaginative here. That's right. So what I like is we're going to do an exercise where I ask you to come towards me as though you're angry. That's right. okay. But what I want is that each step is about one inch. Okay. So in reality uh, if, 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 in reality, you might be, uh, what I do in a training room is you'd be coming and you'd say, Tony, this is terrible! Yeah, and you'd That's be right. walking at me quickly. That's right. So instead, you're going to be going an inch at a time. So I'll be, Tony, <laughs> this is terrible! Yeah? <laughs> okay, so you're yeah. coming slowly at me. Yeah. All right, so, and then, oh, well, you think, uh, what, what's terrible? I'm, you're not good at what you're doing! Okay, good. Well, thank you for coming uh, to me. You're obviously concerned about the quality of my training, and I'm concerned about that. In fact, I'd be interested that we really have this training work for you. So maybe, can you tell me a little bit more about how I could actually make the training better for you? I still have long times, so yeah. all the time. Can we make it better? Okay. Yeah, sure. In fact, uh, let's work out a time that works for you. Okay. Yeah. So let me show you what I did. Now it's a bit easier when we actually have a big room. But basically what, what, what happens is, that maybe you come towards me, so Katoni's yeah. coming at me angrily, right? That's right. Now the normal response might be, how can you call me a terrible trainer, yeah? And so I'm going against him and I'm opposing, and then the more I oppose you, the more, the more he opposes me, and we have this, this big problem. And then we're no longer listening to each other, and emotions come out, yeah. So instead, you notice what I did is I turned around so I was facing the same way, yeah? And then I, uh, I had some touch, obviously appropriately, and, and I said, okay, you think that I'm a terrible trainer. I'm showing empathy, I'm showing understanding. And uh, in fact, let me show you the model that we're using here. So this is a book that I've put together for you. Uh, it has a range of readings on conflict resolution that I think you'll find quite interesting, including some uh, generals from America talking about uh, conflict. And then this is the model. So it's a conflict resolution process uh, I developed myself. And there are five steps. So the first is to let them vent. So vent is a chance to express. Exactly, that's right. So I'm saying you think the training's terrible, giving you a chance, yeah, I really don't like so and so and so. Okay. 
Uh, so then the next step is you restate what they are saying to their satisfaction. So it's like, oh, okay, so you don't like the training because it's not working in with your timetable, yeah? And I do it in a way in which you are saying, yes. Yeah, that you're hurt. In fact, one of the main, if you talk to women, you say, what do you dislike about men? I say, they don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? <laughs> Number one, yeah. always. Now, so. it, the woman is actually there, they're, they're hearing, but the woman doesn't feel heard. Yeah. And the reason is that the guy automatically goes to logic. It's the woman saying, you don't spend enough time with me. And if the guy said, oh, you're feeling very upset, you feel I don't spend enough time with you, the woman's at least starting to feel, oh, he's hearing, he yeah. understands, yeah? But if he goes, no, that, that's really, look, uh, last night I was with you and the day before, yeah. he's going into logic and she doesn't feel heard. Even though he might have mentally understood. So you let them vent and then you restate what they're saying to their satisfaction. So they know, they know that you're at least hearing. You may not agree with them, but they at least know you understand what they're saying. Okay? And then the next thing is you empathize. Okay? So with, with the lady, it's like, oh, well, I would feel upset if I felt you weren't spending enough time with me. So you're showing you, you understand. You're not saying it's true, but you're saying, if I was in your shoes, I would that's feel the same way. Yeah. So uh, I'm saying, uh, you don't like the training? Yes, that's fair. I don't want you to be feeling that way. I'm showing I understand and appreciate where you're at. Okay. Then the next thing that I did was I kind of turned you around and we looked for common viewpoints, understandings, concerns. What is it that we're both going in the same direction towards? And so it's like, well, I want the training to work for you. Uh, I'm showing that I'm, I'm really on your side. Yeah. Even Palestine and Israel, they want peace. They don't quite trust each other and there's a lot of other things. They want peace. They want peace. With uh, your wife, who's maybe complaining, you, want, you both want a good marriage. Yeah. So instead of looking at what are the difficulties, what do you disagree on, you look at what do you agree with. And then the next step is you resolve. You seek a win-win solution. So we're saying, okay, you're concerned about the time that the training's taken, well, we'll work with you. With the wife, it's like, okay, uh, you feel I don't have enough time? It is difficult. I'm at Nkumba on the weekends. I work as an environment minister. I study with World University. Uh, however, it's very important. I want to spend the time with you. What would work? Should we set aside a day or uh, an evening a week where we go on a date? And um, every, you know, Tuesday or whatever, unless I, re unless I have to reschedule, then we do that. You work out something that works, yeah? So that's the five-step model of conflict resolution. And that's essentially what I was demonstrating. However, in a time of conflict, it's sometimes difficult to remember, oh, five steps now. <laughs> what was the first? So there's also a three-step model, which is even simpler. You let them vent, you let them share how they feel, you show you understand and are concerned, and then you resolve it. But maybe even three steps is hard to remember. So there's also a two-step model. The two-step model is you move with them, just like I was moving with you, yeah? And then you turn them around, okay? And so with conflict, that's all you need to remember.